We got a lot to cover, so let's get right to it on the brass. Sean's viewing table where I keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, once again, viewers and subscribers, to smash the bell and turn on all notifications. CM Punk, after everything he has endured, after everything he went through this past week, knowing he has a major UFC fight coming up in the Octagon this Saturday night, CM Punk is not closing the door on wrestling again. What does the WWE think about Paige as a general manager of SmackDown? Where are the authors of pain in world wrestling entertainment? We have a load more to cover on the Barash and Brazen. What is going to happen with Rusev and Lana? Is the WWE changing up the gimmick? What's going to happen to Rusev Day? Will some have a say? Hey, hey. Punk, Punk. let's start off at the top of the story. CM Punk said the following about wrestling. I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, no, something might come up. Some fun might be had, but right now my head and my mind and my focus is 100% on Saturday and fighting. So does that mean fighting beyond Saturday? To me, yes. Punkle also talked about his upcoming fight on Saturday night with Mike Jackson, winning the defamation lawsuit against the WWE doctor. And, you know, actually, you know, I think CM Punk and Cole Cabana said, you know, stop issuing comments and threats to the doctor. You know, we already won. The damage is already done. You know, the WWE does not look remarkable in this. CM Punk has overcome a major, major hurdle, a huge obstacle. WWE is said to be very pleased with Paige as the SmackDown general manager. The reason for that, well, they got a movie coming up. No one thought Paige, when, when she had that retirement speech, we thought that was the end of Paige. We thought she was done for. She would never be seen on WWE ever again. But instead, ladies and gentlemen, Paige has kicked it up a notch. And WWE is very impressed. And this is going to coincide with Paige's new movie on her life, that documentary. But viewers and subscribers, in my opinion, Paige has also been doing a good job. She has been entertaining. And she has taken that role on headstrong. And uh, you know what? I, I, you can't do any... Daniel, you know, and who's to say? Who's to say that Paige can't get back in the ring someday? I mean, Daniel Bryan was the SmackDown general manager. And, you know, there was feuds developing. There was things happening. He wasn't wrestling at that time. But now look at Daniel Bryan. Now he's wrestling again. So who's to say the same thing won't happen for Paige? And I hope it does. I, I wish and hope Paige the very best. And as it concerns, you know, CM Punk not closing the door on wrestling again, that is major and that is monumental. But what about Rusev and Aiden English? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as seen on Ringside News, and Dave Meltzer has also reported this on the Wrestling Observer Radio, that Aiden English could be switching up his usual uh, singing gimmick from now on due to a, th a storyline throat injury. So Aiden English got kicked in the throat, so I guess the gimmick is now he won't be able to sing, which is kind of stupid because Alana and Rusev kind of got over because of Aiden English's singing. So if you take that part away, it's kind of like half the fun is going to those guys. Although, I think that Rusev is so over right now, even if they don't sing, it probably won't hurt. WWE might be trying to track down what gets Rusev over as a babyface when they want him to be a heel. This could be why Aiden English is no longer singing in his way, or maybe they just want to keep on rapping. Either way, let's see his vocal cords and see if they improve over time. And, you know, Rusev is over huge. Rusev has impressed. Rusev has been dominant. Rusev has been entertaining. But where has the dominating team, the dominating team of the authors of pain? Well, WWE Creative has nothing for them. The WWE doesn't know how to utilize them. But they don't want them on TV with no direction and nowhere to go. So I can almost see where the WWE is coming from with that. I can almost see where that makes sense. But at the same time, they're losing momentum. They're losing steam. Where are the authors of pain? Well, just... Because Wrestling News Co. has reported there's nothing for them. Huge rumors that Ziggler and Drew McIntyre might already be breaking up. And the WWE may already be looking at giving a huge, a massive push to Drew McIntyre. Now that would be monumental and off the charts. I mean, can you imagine what Drew McIntyre could do in 2018? The WWE has been behind Drew McIntyre for a very long time now. You know, his earlier days in the WWE, he was the chosen one. He was going to be McMahon's masterpiece. And now Drew McIntyre could be the masterpiece once again. Ziggler and, uh, you know, McIntyre were a good team. They were formidable. They were strong. It looked like they were going to last long. But on Monday Night Raw, it seemed like there was a bump in the road, and it didn't seem like Drew McIntyre was all that pleased. It didn't seem like Drew McIntyre was happy. So you got to wonder, will Dolph Ziggler once again be the one that gets looking out and looking in instead of looking in and looking out? Is Ziggler once again going to get the shaft out of this? And Drew McIntyre, WWE reportedly very behind Drew McIntyre, wanting to give Drew McIntyre that super push. And Drew McIntyre, once Brock Lesnar drops the Universal Championship, 
because there's rumors that Brock Lesnar will drop the Universal Championship. And speaking about dropping titles, what about the huge story about this? Roman Reigns' SummerSlam plans look like they're just about etched in stone. Just about confirmed. Roman Reigns' SummerSlam path is going to lead him to yet another match with the Beast Incarnate, the reigning, defending, undisputed Universal Champion Brock Lesnar. Rumored to be Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, the final match, the final time these two guys step in the ring one-on-one, man-on-man. The only reason I don't have a problem with this, it's not because I want to see Roman Reigns pushed to the moon, shoved down your throats, overused, overpushed, this, that. No, because Roman Reigns has a gripe. Roman Reigns has legitimacy. Roman Reigns has credibility in that steel cage match in Saudi Arabia at the Greatest Royal Rumble. Roman Reigns won that match. Roman Reigns should right now be standing as the Raw Universal Champion, but as we all saw, that did not happen. That did not transpire. Roman Reigns, once again now this time, got the shaft. Roman Reigns got the detour. So Roman Reigns should be entitled. Roman Reigns should get his time to shine once more to see if he can get the job done. So viewers and subscribers, what do you think about Roman Reigns' SummerSlam plans? What about Drew McIntyre going on a singles push? What about the fact that CM Punk is not closing the door on wrestling again. What about Rusev switching up the gimmick and adding Lana to it and, you know, they're just going to go with that. What about the fact that WWE Creative has nothing for the authors of pain? Is that completely insane to you? Viewers and subscribers, make sure to share, subscribe, smash that bell, and turn on all notifications. The brash and brazen, you can just never tell. And viewers and subscribers, it has been a huge week in the WWE. There has been major developments. Shawn Michaels says he's going to wrestle again. Shawn Michaels open to one more last match. Can you imagine if that happens? Something else to wrestle with was delayed because of creative differences with the WWE. Hmm, I wonder why that was. I wonder who was behind that. I thought Bruce Pritchard had, you know, complete control. You know, and what about this? The NWO. The NWO reportedly returning with new members. Can the WWE make that work? Can the WWE make that work in 2018? Or is it just left too much steam? Is is there just nothing for it? Is there nothing in it? Maybe, you know, it would bring up merchandise and maybe Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Hulk Hogan could lead it. I don't know. Maybe they could be their manager. Maybe they could be in their corner. Um, what about, speaking about being in the corner and being man- and managing something, what about the fact that Baron Corbin is now an authority figure on Monday Night Raw? We are all in the clear. The Barash and Brazen Show and View Entertainment. What do you think about all the news and all the rumors that have been talked about from Drew McIntyre to CM Punk to the Authors of Pain to Rusev Day? Viewers and subscribers, I wouldn't have it any other way. Make sure to take that time to share, subscribe, smash the bell, turn on all notifications. More to come from Sean's View Entertainment. Stay tuned. What do you think was the biggest and hottest topic of this century? Well, actually, I'm going I'm to say century. Why would I say century? Why would Sean's View Entertainment, what was the hottest topic of the century? Because it almost seemed like a century. I mean, you look at this entire week. This has been a fully loaded week of news, rumors, and headlines. And you know what? This may have been one of the most chockful weeks that I can remember in, in some time where the news was so impactful and so big and so ginormous. It was good. Your comments, your opinions, more to come from the Barash one.